Hi, everybody, and welcome to another exciting edition of Words, Images, and Worlds. Glad on this episode to be talking with comics creator Alex Sinclair. Alex, thank you for jumping in at 6.30 in the morning where you are. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, I am. You know, 6.30 is, is not that bad. I, I tend to wake up at this time to try and beat the the uh, East Coast editors and the West Coast editors to, <laughs> to the punch. <laughs> yeah yeah hope you're caffeinating well and, and have some bit. good coffee flowing yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so so you're known for a variety of titles um a lot of work for dc as well as venom you have uh work for batman superman wonder woman harley quinn green lantern 52 all, all sorts of things um so we have lots to talk about in a in a short amount of time um, my first question is, what is it about comics that sort of attracted you as an artist? Um, well, I think I, I bought them. I collected them with my brother when I was younger. Mm -hmm. So we would we would, you know, hit the, the convenience store and, and spend basically all our like weekly uh, uh, salary from our parents uh, on comics. Back then, they were, you know, 75 cents to a buck a piece. So it was very easy to be able to grab you know five ten each and then just sit there and we would read them and then certain ones we would also draw mm -hmm. stuff that we liked from them and so kind of the, the love for the the art medium of it was born out of that and so uh, from a very young age I would just kind of use that as a I think that was kind of I loved the whole process of it that not just reading it but being on the other side of it and trying to draw it too yeah, yeah. Love those family connections. And <clears throat> I'm noticing on one side of your studio, you have family photos and things like that. And on the other side, you have uh, it looks like things that you're working on or things you have worked on. Um, so love those connections. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I work from home. So this is my uh, what would my office would look like anywhere I would be. I think family for me comes first and then the, the love for art and, and, and comics. And so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit about the role of the comics colorist. What, what is it that the colorist brings to the page and to the covers of the books? Well, it's, it's, I think it's part of that collaboration, right? I, I think that's my favorite thing about comics is that it's a collaborative medium. Mm -hmm. And so um, uh, it, it, it means altering the art a little bit, I think, where, where the inker is interpreting and, and just kind of following what the penciler was doing. Uh, our job is to to kind of use that and, and enhance it. Uh, so it's, it's this kind of, uh, it's this trust that the pencil and the inker have in us uh, that we're, we're definitely gonna add to the art, but not necessarily take away from what they did. And mm -hmm. so that's, that's, you're walking this fine line of, of, of uh, changing it completely right so because when it, in black and white a lot of artists what they turn in looks incredible and would stand on its own without the color uh, i mean i work with some some incredible people you know like jim lee and scott williams mm -hmm. they turn a piece in and that thing's just you can say it's done uh and so my job becomes that much more difficult because i gotta nail it and and add to it to the point where people go oh yeah actually that looks cool too uh and so um, the, the job of the colors is, is uh, I think, much like the penciler, um, for the interiors especially, you know, you, you also need to learn how to tell a story because uh, you can take take some, some incredible artwork and then if you don't color it correctly, you can destroy the flow uh, within the page uh, and within the scene and all that stuff. And so we, we kind of bring the, the, what in movies would be cinematographer's job where you add the lighting, the mood, uh, uh, and 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 the consistency of the storytelling kind of has to has to come through in the color as well. Yeah, yeah, lots to to think about <clears throat> to balance and to manage. Um, I'd mentioned Aquaman Andromeda, uh, which you'd done a cover for because it's just a series that stands out to me. But yeah. uh, I know you've worked on a variety of titles, so curious about. 
um, any particular collaboration or experience that you've had that really rises to the top as being one of the most positive or uh, something you enjoyed working on maybe the most? Oof, there's a <laughs> lot. <laughs> uh, I think the one that I'm most recognized for is, is Batman Hush. And so that one, that one stands out. And for me, it was a great experience. Uh, it was uh, 20 years ago and it's still, you know, what people, but probably the, what I signed the most at every convention. But for me, it was a, a great experience in that um, Lilo and Stitch had just come out in the theaters and mm-hmm. Disney went back to traditional uh, animation for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so the watercolor paintings in those backgrounds were so inspiring that that uh, I decided to to do the same. So I actually watercolor hand painted the backgrounds and scanned them in, and then added the digital pa- uh, coloring on top of that. Uh, and so it stands out because it was it was very different from what was being done. Even though you know digital coloring had only been around for about a year, I mean ten years. Um, uh, you know, it still was felt really cool to go back to something tactile to me. You know. Uh, People ask me, it's like, well, what do you draw when you draw on your own? And I tell them, it's like, it's never digital uh-huh. and it's never a superhero. Cause it's, you know, since I do that all day, every day, I think uh, uh, I went to, uh, my training was all traditional. And so I, I watercolor and I painted underwater wildlife. And so for me to be able to watercolor and bring that into, into comics was, was a cool experience. Um, I mean, there's been tons of others. Blackest Night is is, is not one that stands out because it was, it's it still is probably the hardest job uh, gig I ever had to do. Mm. Uh, the the multiple light sources, the multiple colorful light sources, all that stuff was very difficult to kind of rein everything in, uh, page after page with you know, with every lantern and and their ring going off, and then how do you make that work and make it look realistic because the way that Ivan drew it, it, it looked like it could work. And so converting that to color was, was, was a hard process. And so it was hard. It was super difficult, but in the end, I'm proud of the work that, that, that we put out for that series too. And so there's been others along the way. Um, the, the uh, Superman run that we did with uh, Bendis and again with Ivan, mm-hmm. that was some, some, some great stuff that I think that the story, the art, everything kind of came together really nicely and, and, and proud of that work as well. And there's been other projects like Aerosmith, which is, uh, you know, working with Kurt Busiek is always a joy. And then mm-hmm. Carlos Pacheco was such a great, almost mentor to me for that book in that he, he said, Hey, we want to bring in European palettes to the, to the feel of this book and, and, and uh, really kind of, convinced me that I can pull that off and, and, and it was such a great experience because of that uh, and you know forever indebted to Carlos for that uh, allowing me to push myself into something that I wasn't I didn't think I could do and he helped me get through it yeah yeah I love that Lo- love the uh the role that you take as someone that pushes themselves and then I also I love watercolor I love the aesthetic that it brings yeah. um and just creates a, a particular mood so Batman hashes is definitely one of those books that stands out from the decades of Batman stories. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So final question, and we can hit anything that we've missed that you want to make sure to share. I always like to ask about upcoming events, current or upcoming works that people can be looking for. And then um, just places where people can connect with you, see examples of what you're working on and maybe kind of follow along and see what's coming up. Yeah. Um, my current, I just finished the last issue of Ultimate Invasion with uh, with Brian Hitch. Mm-hmm. Brian Hitch came back to the Ultimate Universe and, and, and there was this five issue uh, series that uh, Jonathan Hickman wrote. Uh, it's crazy uh, story, uh, obviously with Brian coming into that there's so many heroes <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but if anyone can pull that off it's brian and so it was it was, it was really fun to kind of play in that giant kind of uh, stage with the marvel side of, of the universe I, I did it many times with dc so it's cool that marvel's kind of throwing that that kind of work my way mm-hmm. um 
I'm working on the Dark Droid Saga for, for the Star Wars office. Uh, it's a cool Star Wars horror story. And, and so it's, it, 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 it's, it's, feels weird to do it but it's so cool and the story's really great so i'm having a lot of fun with that uh, i'm actually really enjoying doing anything that is star wars related because i'm a huge fan of, of of that and so working on the characters that i that i love watching uh and and reading about her is again kind of feeds into the 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 nerd side of, of me and 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 kind of fuels that that passion for for coloring mm -hmm. um and the Avengers Inc. series just started. Uh, and that's actually a really cool detective Avengers story. Uh, very cool, different art style. And uh, again, just kind of enjoying my way through Marvel as I play with new characters. And, and like I said, it, it's reinvigorated my, my love for the medium. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Social media wise, I'm on Instagram. I'm on uh, Facebook. I'm leaving the X shortly yeah i just left a little while ago yep, yeah yep. <laughs> i just find myself being there less and less it's like yeah what's the point but uh, mm -hmm. uh all my my handle names are it's the same throughout it's sync color s-i-n-c-c-l-o-r so two, t two c's in the middle uh i'm i'm on there pretty much regularly uh you can tell when i'm busy with work because i don't post as much and then when mm -hmm. i'm in between deadlines uh, i'm going crazy posing stuff but uh it's definitely kind of a little uh, one of the ways I kind of disconnect from working uh, all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, sounds wonderful. I'm uh, excited to see the Star Wars work and explore that because I know you're bringing atmosphere and interesting sort of mood and tone to a horror story that's uh fascinating <laughs> stuff yeah um and i'll tag the social medias when i post this and send it back perfect. your way yeah perfect yeah i appreciate your time and uh, yeah, i appreciate you getting up early for me and uh, <laughs> yeah no worries <laughs> yeah, yeah looking forward to more work to come well thank you thanks for having me on my pleasure